Well, it's a special delight to tell you a little bit about my field of study and uh, where I've been working all these uh, years. Old Testament is kind of my specialty. When I finished up my seminary work, I had great teachers in New Testament and in uh, uh, apologetics and theology and church history. My weakest one was in Old Testament. And yet, when I came from uh, public high school, uh, some of my greatest questions were Genesis 1 through 11. And uh, the teacher I had was a great Hebrew teacher. He made a sign in blood that we would uh, spend five hours outside of class each day uh, working on his assignments. So one hour in class, and it was a, a five-hour class, so we met five times a week, and then we had to spend four hours outside. So five times five was 25 hours a week. He was excellent, a Hebrew Christian. Uh, but when we came to teaching Pentateuch or historical books or wisdom or prophets, he would say, who has a question? And he'd look around the room, see if anyone had a question. And some put up their hand. He'd say, good. Who knows the answer? And he'd go around the room. And if no one knew the answer, he'd say, look it up, brethren. Look it up, brethren. So... I'm still looking it up uh, as a result of that. But uh, uh, here in the Old Testament, 77.2% of the Bible, I add the point two to make it sound authentic, but over three-fourths of what God had to say is in the uh, Old Testament. And the warmest topics for me have been biblical theology. Uh, when I started out, we had Gerhardus Voss, who uh, had published uh, years before that, that would have been in the middle of the last century, and uh, Barton Payne, but Barton Payne really was a, more of a systematic theology of topics. He really didn't go through the Bible diachronically and go through time and show the development of uh, doctrine like that. So Zondervan brought out uh, my Toward and Old Testament Theology. That was one of the first. I think it uh, won an award at the time, 78. And that's remained in print up until this year when they have brought out uh, a revision, which is now called The Promise Plan of God, A Biblical Theology of Old and New Testament. A lot of my students think I don't know there's uh, uh, 27 books in the back, and they give me Gospels of John and the little New Testaments and that. I've got a whole closet full of them, but I tell them I've read the Old Testament and I like it. It reminds me of the Old. So it, it's just a, uh, uh, a wonderful theme. So I've, I've pressed on that. My other uh, uh, great topic is uh, hermeneutics, and of course Sondervan has done the uh, second edition of our introduction to biblical hermeneutics, which has been very widely received by uh, teachers, and now I think uh, translated in three or four different languages too as well. So those are sort of the central pivot points of my interest, biblical theology and hermeneutics. And between those two, of course, the whole issue of uh, the use of uh, the New Testament by the old plays very naturally into that.